Hello, hello, hello. This is AJT500, so that's Talented Chart 98. And I'm bringing you some Assassin's Creed 3 Manhunt. Uh, I played this match a couple days ago, I believe, with my new friend, uh, Stay Eerie. And I really don't remember what happened in this game. <laughs> like at all. <laughs> I just remember that I recorded two matches. The other one's going up uh, next Wednesday for the next uh, freaking Assassin's Creed video. But, um, yeah. Uh, sorry if this video comes up late, because I just remembered now at 9pm on Wednesday night that it's Wednesday, and that I usually do Assassin's Creed commentaries on Wednesday. <laughs> so, um, mm, I'm doing that now. So, uh, yeah. Doing some man hunt. Uh, like I said before, I can't remember what I score in here. And I don't know why my team member is just standing there. But he has a 97. Oh, he, he left. He left. I was going to say he had a 97 like I have a 98. So, that was kind of cool. But he wanted to leave. Let's see. Uh, Night Stalker's after us. With a red coat, if you couldn't tell. I'm not prepared for this commentary, if you couldn't tell. You can see double the sky is freaking coming in here. That dude rapes a freaking NPC. I jump down here trying to get the stun because I'm a greedy person when it comes to stuns. I like to punch people in the face. Drop my firecracker to get away from this guy. Oh, let's see. Okay. When do we get a team member? Stay here. He got freaking raped. Um, gonna go over here. Punch this dude. Get my streak. Oh, I thought I was gonna have that dude. Guess not. I had a pretty good uh, score off the bat though. It was like um, 15, 20 seconds, and I already have. Good 2k point. Oh, never mind. That wasn't 15, 30 seconds. That was more like a minute. <laughs> but, um, let's see what's going on here. So here he goes out here. He kills <laughs> He kills an NPC. I get a stun right there. I was really... I remember this now, because I was telling Stary, I was telling him, like, I really wish I had um, been able to get this dude, this d Raider dude. Because, as you saw before, the other guy got, um, a ground finish. So it would have been really cool to have gotten all three of those stuns, but this is my luck. And, oh yeah, this is the party mess up match. Yeah, like this freaking match, I was worried about getting back in my party. Because as you saw right there, I thought people were leaving the party. Because um, at that time, Renan and Churns weren't really talking to us. They were just like AFK or something. I don't know where they went. But um, they weren't really talking to us, so I thought they had just left. But then Eerie left too, and I was like, okay, and my party just left me. But it actually turns out I disconnected, so yeah. I knife this dude over here, and I get the knife stun off, saving my team member, and then I get taken out from behind. That dude's name is Mini Bread, and that dude is Honey Badger Pro. So here you see me trying to get in my party, and I'm like, oh, I need to get in the party. And then I remembered, wait a minute, I'm recording right now. I shouldn't be doing this, so I close it out. <laughs> That's actually the real reason I closed it out. And then, um, this guy's above me. Jumps down, gets punched in the face. That's Mr. Mini Bread again. State Eerie goes down, and I get taken out. And this time I'm determined to get back in my party. So I'm running down here trying to go all through all my friends to get to the bottom of the list where I get to stay Eerie. It's number party invite. Uh, at this point, I still thought everyone had disconnected. I really. I really didn't. And why did I spawn right next to that dude? Even though I naked stunned him, I'm, yeah, I'm not complaining about points or anything, but why would I spawn, like, right next to him? Like, I know, I know Gia, he put up a video a little while ago about, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like, getting spawn killed. So, yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, uh, the way they spawn you in here. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, um, I've had it for... I want to say two videos now, including this one, maybe three, but I'm no longer a part of VAA, that's for personal reasons, but uh, yeah, I'm no longer in that clan, just so you know, just in case you haven't seen like my new clan tag, my new clan tag now is uh, BPU, which stands for Black People United, because if you did not know, I am black, and uh, my people are united, actually that's complete not a lie. <laughs> I actually, um, it was when I left VAA, I just wanted clan tags, so <laughs> I made a fake clan so I could have them, and I put it as BPU, so I want BPU, 
Yeah. Uh, we have a massive lead right now. Over 6k, I think. Am I good at math? No. Yes. Yes, I am good at math. Okay. It's over 6k. Over 6k lead right now. And we're on the defense, which means these other guys are not doing very good right now. Our team member is running for his life, and me and Eerie are prepared to make our final stand against the enemy. And that's what we will do. That guy killed an NPC, and I freaking stunned him, and we're already getting a stun lock right here at the very end. Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. I love it. I love it. State Erie is a really good team member. I feel like we work pretty well together. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, throw smoke here and get a final stun. Nope. Gets taken. Finish with an 8k defense. Aww, yeah. I like to punch that face. I only beat uh, the other team by 3k on my own. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now we're going in the offense. As you can see here, I don't know if I had this set in my last video, because I usually don't rewatch my videos, but <laughs> um, I'm using Poison Disguise and a gun now for Manhunt. I use it sometimes in competitive, but I mostly use it for just random lobbies because I like doing things like this is what I'm about to do. Walk up to this dude, get a nice poison, but before my disguise goes out, no one knows who I am, rush up and get a double kill. And I think I get a triple kill right here too, because this dude just walks straight into me, like a re, -re. So yeah, I like this set. Because uh, I've always been a fan of disguise, ever since ACB days, I've always loved disguise. Disguise has always been one of my favorite uh, offensive abilities. Because I like sneaking around people, and I'm starting to get a lot better in it, uh, with it, I suppose, in this game. Because I'm starting to, um, like, I've been doing more competitive stuff in this game than I have, um, like, an ACB. Because in ACB, I was okay, but I wasn't, like, a grandmaster. But technically, I was a grandmaster because of the freaking ladder thing, but. <laughs> I wasn't like a amazing player or anything. I think I've improved a lot more since um since ACB. But um what was I even talking about? I just blanked out. Was that oh scale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten better with my disguises. <laughs> so I like disguise because the way I use disguise now, I don't use it like I run straight at the enemy, especially in competitive. I like to go around people. I like to get in the back of people because, in my opinion, with disguise, uh, you need to be as stealthy as possible. And for the most part, people aren't going to be expecting like usually in competitive manhunt people think you're going to be coming from one way or another depending on the spawns. Like most competitive people know the spawns of the game. They know if you spawn one place, the other team is probably going to spawn in the other place. So if you're on defense, uh, for the most part, people are going to think that you're going to run one way to get to them uh, when you're attacking because that's the fastest way to get there. And yes, it is the fastest way to get there, but when you're using disguise, sometimes it's better to go all the way around and then um, gets which we call it and right here I actually had a phone call that's why I'm walking around in circles and some dude's actually gonna run right past me and I can't do anything because I was playing with one hand right now that's why I'm just cruising along he's about to come yeah there he goes he, he just ran there <laughs> I actually shoot him in a second though but um yeah sometimes it's good to just go around your uh, opponents because not only are they not expecting you to go around because they're expecting you to go on the fast route but they're usually expecting you not to be disguised and go around. So it's kind of cool when you come out from behind and you just, like, own people. Like, I mean, it would be really good set. Like, I don't usually use O-Smoke a lot, but sometimes I use it in competitive. Sometimes O-Smoke and disguise can be really good for going up against a team because uh, you can come in from behind, be that sneaky person, and then help your other team members get kills by, uh like getting the rest of the team in the smoke because they're not expecting a disguise so that's pretty good and uh... yeah and then poison i just like poison it's pretty good with disguise for like random lobbies it's, it's okay for like um... competitive lobbies as well but i wouldn't recommend it just, just too much of i don't know it's just, i don't know it depends on who you're playing sometimes sometimes poison is good in competitive sometimes it's not like if um, if your team is going really hardcore at it and they're just grabbing anything they can, it's kind of a tight game. Probably don't want to use poison. If it's kind of more of a um, 
not not as close game, but it's still semi-competitive and stuff. You might want to use poison in that situation. And um, then lastly, the gun is because uh, like when people run, I like to shoot them. <laughs> I don't like to chase people, so I like to shoot them. I mean, knives can be good. Knives can be so much better in so many different ways. Don't get me wrong, knives are an amazing ability as well. It's just that sometimes it's good to have one person on your manhunt team who has gun, for instances like that. So you can just shoot that dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's kind of the set uh, that I went with now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this video is almost over. And I've run out of things to say. I don't even know how I came up with the things I already said to say but I came up with them <laughs> ah. so yeah uh, another Assassin's Creed game will be up next Wednesday um, I'm probably not gonna be doing any more uh, during the week like uh, or weekends because I get one piece pirate warriors tomorrow and oh, that walkthrough is going to be long Oh man, I walkthroughs are a hard thing to do. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you next Wednesday on the next Assassin's Creed video. This has been AJT500 slash Talented Track 98, and bye bye.